So have you seen the anime for this? No. No. I haven't either. Also, it's really loud. I don't hear anything. I can't? I don't, no, I don't hear anything. Alright, let's fix that. So it's definitely talking. <laughs> Art style is really pretty. Yeah. I've always been fond of, like, some of the prettiness of a lot of these guys. It's just... The more edgy characters always end up, uh, you know, frustrating me or pissing me off. <laughs> but I like the edgy. I'm gonna fix oh, the please. sound. I want, I want the best friend characters and the cuddly characters and the ones who understand and respect your boundaries. I don't like, um... What do you call it? Mm -hmm. Let's turn it down a little bit. Okay. I don't like, um... The Korean masculinity that's like really toxic to me but that's just my opinion there's a lot of people that like it and I don't really like it and I don't really understand it because it's like you can't let a guy treat you like that I just feel so wrong <laughs> but anyway that's just my thoughts yeah. yeah no and it's one of those ones where those are usually the people who are looking for somebody to be much more dominant in their life but yeah everyone to each their own but i'll let you finish getting all the things set up and i don't remember for the voices is it just like little voice splits before it or are oh. all their things like actually voiced that is a great so thing are we so yeah. uh let me go back to sound settings i'll get rid of voices i'm sorry i forgot about that yeah i was about to say <laughs> are we going to let them read the dialogue or are we going to make up voices do we want to do it the way Dodger did it and make up voices? I mean, I know that's well, the fun part. Yeah, well, it's one of those ones where I probably wouldn't do, like, overtly fun voices, you know, just basic reading. <laughs> the one hey, funny Gina, voice? What? I already know which one funny <laughs> voice I'm getting. <clears throat> Burner? Oh, God. <laughs> I just know it's happening. I just know it's happening. <laughs> it's happening, it's isn't it? One funny voice I've got. Wait, so are we recording already? Oh, yes. By the oh. way. Uh, <laughs> we're recording. <laughs> Welcome to a new episode of a new series. It's something that we've been wanting to do for a little while because we love Dodger so much. Um, and Dodger doesn't do sim dating sim videos anymore. Especially since that this game and D&D Lang are the two that me and, Cure me and Tasty really like. Because um, we kind of... I wouldn't say we grew We're up on it. Basing these off of our uh, love for Dodger dating sim. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Dodger. And we were like, we remember these. Yeah. This should be fun to play. Also, kind of a side note. Uh, I don't think either of us have seen full gameplay or played fully on either of the games that we're looking at trying to do here. Exactly. Uh, so. So. We'll have some stuff that we'll be like, oh yeah, no, we're familiar with this or this kind of mechanic, blah, 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 blah. But for a good portion of each game that we plan on doing for these sims, if people decide they like them, uh, we are going to be just as blind to it as a lot of the viewers are. Mm -hmm. uh, I will say, however, that we want to have successful playthroughs, so we will take turns, depending on who we're going after this turn, is Kira's turn to make sure that we don't accidentally pick the wrong thing. <laughs> we yep. don't we don't want to have failed attempts. And if we do have failed attempts, we'll make you know, if you guys want to see that, let us know. But I don't think many people are going to ask for it. Yeah, no. And for I know for at least for amnesia, it's supposedly a lot easier to fail it. I I'm not exactly sure how, what, when, where, why, but supposedly. Uh, so we will be following spoiler-free walkthroughs. Uh, just make sure that we're going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. We're finally doing this. What, six years later? <laughs> no, uh, it's more than years? six years. Yeah. It's not yeah. ten years, man. I we watched Dodger together while 
I was still in Montana, right? Yeah. That's 10 years. So the other thing I got to ask Kira is, uh, yes. do you want to be the one that does the most talking? Your channel? How dare you? I'm okay with it, though. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with it, because I know that you like doing the voices. Um, what? Me? Are you, are you trying to say that I'm a character? You're, you're a bit of a character, Missy. <laughs> No! Uh, it looks like I have individual character walkthroughs. Oh, do we have to figure out who we want to do right now? Yep, we want to pick pretty quickly who we want to go for. So, I, pick a color. I would like to go for Shin, to be honest. He's the red guy, isn't he? Shin. Yes, he is the red one with the... Uh, brown hair. Yeah, he's the guy on the cover, basically. Alright. Oh, yeah, no, it's just literally telling you which ones you're supposed to click, but it doesn't give you anything else. That's good. That's awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. <laughs> Alright, so you get to be the one that does the most talking, which is this guy. We know, we know at least this character a little bit. I don't remember his name, though. Why he such a cutie but today? <laughs> Let me. Ooh, uh oh. I did full full screen. I want to make sure. Well, here's the good news. OBS is recording my shenanigans, <laughs> but I still can't get out of the game. <laughs> uh. So at least we're recording, and that's the important thing. That was what I was trying to do. Um, anyway. Control, alt, delete. Control, alt, delete. I'll, I'll figure it out as the game goes on. We're ready? We're ready. All right. Here we go. Oops. Um. <laughs> I'm too excited. <laughs> At least I got to say, um, before you left. Um. <laughs> are you alive? This is bad. They find out I killed a human. I'll get it. Oh, some of your um, audio is, like, the end of your sentences, Kira, are, like, going oh, out. Funky. So, like, at the very end of what you're saying, it disappears. So, um, if I tell you again, just say the line again, okay? Okie dokie. This right. way we can make sure everything's running smoothly. Can't yeah. do. Oh, you're awake. How do you feel? Does it hurt anywhere? Can you see me? Thank goodness you're alive. I was really surprised. I thought maybe I had killed you. Oh, no, uh, I, I'm not in the least bit shady at all. Really? Uh-huh. It's not like I hit you with a blunt object or pushed you off a cliff or ran you over with a car. Ah-ha, uh -huh. um, so, to explain who exactly I am. I don't trust you. <laughs> Well, I'm just a spirit who happened to launch himself into your consciousness. This doesn't seem like an invasion of privacy. <laughs> totally isn't. Nothing. No reaction to who I am. Or, or the, to the situation you're in now. Oh, hey, are you really okay? You can't see me, right? Hold on. I want to uh, say a strange looking kid. You are actually on the correct boat with that one. Whoa! Well, first off, thanks for that answer. But I'm not strange looking or anything, okay? I just have a different existence in you. I am a spirit after all. I... Anyway, I'm glad that you can at least see me. Deal, you're really calm. I the moment you woke up, you'd be like... W what Where am I? Who are you? Or something like that. But, wait. Your personality didn't fly off with your memories, did it? Totally did. I'm a blank slate. 
Nice. This is bad. Well, for now, let me explain things from the beginning. <coughs> I'm Orion. I'm a spirit from a distant world. You know, you're my favorite constellation out in the, uh, outside, yeah? <laughs> the only part that I can ever remember is Belt, and that I can't find the rest of him. <laughs> you can't find the rest of him? <laughs> I was on my way to the human world for some business, and by accident, I sort of collided with your mind. That can happen, apparently. I don't understand it myself, but for some reason I'm trapped inside your soul now. It looked like you lost consciousness from the impact. And, well... This is kind of hard to say, but it kind of looks like your memory skedaddle too. Uh, what a mess. Uh -huh. Sorry, go ahead and yell at me. I know I said a lot of things that probably don't make sense to you, but please say something. No, I understood. Huh? Really? I guess you did just wake up in a weird place with someone not really human talking to you. You had no choice but to believe me, given the circumstances, huh? I'm really sorry for my carelessness. I'll do anything to help get your memories back. Besides, if I don't, I'm not sure I'll be able to separate from you. I'm not absolutely sure, but I think I'm trapped inside the place where your memories used to be. Think about it like your memories were pushed out by the amount of space I take up. So if your memories were to return, then I would get pushed back out instead. There might be another solution, but aside from what I just said, nothing comes to mind. I feel awful that I made you lose your memory. Let's work together and try and get them back. Alright. Oh, yep, alright. Alright, thanks for understanding. I kind of expected a... Uh... You better start running! I would have understood completely if I were that harsh with me. Whoa. Say it again. I can't say that one. <laughs> That was a great sentence. We're leaving it in just like that. <laughs> I would have completely understood if you were that hard with me. You're pretty accepting of things, huh? A really Nelly. Nelly. A very mellow temper. Nelly! <laughs> Nelly, Nelly, in my belly, belly. I don't think you remember Melly, do you? One of the characters that we made up. Oh, dear lord! Do you know how I old that is? Dear lord! <laughs> I don't remember everything about him, I just remember Melly and the Microwave of Darkness. <laughs> I miss it. No, I just... I remember Melly being a name and that he was a silly character of spite and evil, but... Goodness. That is a long time ago. Different era. Very long. It might be strange to say, but I'm glad that it was your mind that I got stuck in. Well, I guess that's just how it is. From now on, I'll work with you as hard as I can to get your memories back. I'll do anything you need me to do. Is what I want to say, but I actually have some limitations. I can't interfere with the human world. I can't touch you, and you can't touch me. Darn, he's the butt I wanted to touch the most. No, he's a little too young to touch the butt. <laughs> I mean, God, he's, he's cute. Yes. <laughs> What's more, people around us won't be able to see or hear me. So I can't investigate much for you, and I can't move in your stead. In fact, I can't move more than ten meters away from you. I said I'd do anything, but it looks like all I can really do is cheer you on. We got us a cheerleader. 
congratulations. You have the most pitiful cheerleader <laughs> of all time. Well, it's better than not having no one, right? No matter what, I'll always be on your side. Liar! I promise that I won't be like, the culprit was Orion all along! I appreciate it, sir. I do. I do appreciate it. Thanks. I'm happy you would say so. <laughs> well, let's both do our best. So, you really can't remember anything. Not a damn thing. What about your name? Do you at least think you can remember your name? Oh, do I get to name a- Yes! Ah! <laughs> Since I get to be the first fun boys, you get to pick the names. Yes, queen! Double. Oh, whoops. No, go back. Hi. Duffle in? Stuffle me. Duffle me. Stuffle me. Uh, in that case, I should have used my slightly stuffy southern accent for her. <laughs> Too late now! Confirm. No, yeah. <laughs> Duffle me? Is that your name? I think so. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's the next one we should go for if we're looking to uh, get to the right ending. Gotcha. I am so surprised that this game is so <coughs> darn icky. I see. Well, that's good. It's a, a good start to remembering. Alright, then. There's no point in staying here, so let's get back to your world. Hmm? What is this place, you ask? It's hard to explain. The space between dimensions. That's the closest description. Hmm. This world has many possibilities. And there exists as many parallel worlds as there are possibilities. He's got the artist changed his eyes to give him the brooding, like, focused look. Like, this is serious. This is serious. This is going to tell you exactly how this game is going to go for the rest of the time. For example, in one world, you may be going to school, and in another, you may just be working. This is the space between those many parallel dimensions isn't connected to any. To put it bluntly, right now, you're suspended in the rift between worlds. But, I don't know which world you came from. Oh, but any world is still a world that you are in. There is no such thing as a right or wrong with parallel world. Yes, there is. <laughs> this is a dating sim. <laughs> Don't tell me there's no such thing. Uh oh. What? Uh oh. What? I thought you said that you skipped one. No. I said there's no such thing as right. Or I mean, no such thing as saying there's no such thing as right or wrong because this is a dating sim. This is very true, and there's a lot of very wrong, unfortunately. Uh huh. So let's go back to the world you were in and recover your memories. Meaning, he's just gonna stick you in a world and pretend that's the correct one. <coughs> Better than just staying in the hibbidly blah watercolor place, which is very pretty, but. I guess he was floating there forever. There are lots of ways to do it, like talking to your friends or looking at your phone's history. Oh, but just a sec. Be very careful of who you trust. Humans are brutal and cruel beings. You should only tell people you really trust about your amnesia. Otherwise, they might try and give you memories you've never had. Like, you owe me $10,000, so you better pay me back. Or something. There's no way you could tell if what they said was true, right? Some horrible jerk might introduce himself as your boyfriend and take you away from your actual You might be told you don't have a job and they get fired later on. Or someone with no relation to you tricks you into joining a pyramid scheme. <laughs> oh no, that was the worst. That one's totally gonna happen. No. <laughs> Or maybe you'd wind up in a situation where you found yourself being shipped off overseas. 
right? It'd be terrible if that happened, right? Nah, that'd be fun. Uh, hold on, hold on. No, don't tell me anything. I'm just going to tell you what I think, and then you're going to tell me if I'm right or wrong. So, this one? You might be overthinking it. Yeet. Good job. So far, you seem to be on a roll to make sure that we get uh, Mr. Red. Because I am a writer, and I do these things. <laughs> well, if we were looking for anybody else, you know, like somebody who was the complete opposite in personality, you might be very wrong. Huh? If we were looking at playing somebody else who had all the opposing answers, you'd be very wrong so far. Uh, this is just the general first part, though. It's supposed to... You're supposed to set yourself up as being a very kind-hearted person. Mm. That's why you have to pick the certain ones. True. But again, it's something where you're just kind of setting up your profile so that it's appealing to whichever character that you're looking for anyways. But... I'm gonna take another sip of my drink real quick. Give me a second. Oh, and you're saying that all these responses are the ones that are good for Shin. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that's because Shin is the box art guy, therefore he's gonna have the most general responses. Yeah, fair. Uh, you think so? Which I agree to that statement. Of course his stuff is gonna be general. Let's think the opposite. You get lucky and meet a nice person, and you tell him or her your situation. In that case, what would happen to you then? If you said you had amnesia, wouldn't they force you into a hospital? You'd probably be confined to your hospital room until your memories return. I don't think that's how that works. Even if you were allowed outside sometimes, for the most part, you'd be shut up inside, right? You know, some people ask why I'm such a negative thinker. Orion is definitely one, you know, a lot worse than I am. Yes. <laughs> Everything he's come up with so far has just been... Dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is the absolute worst case scenario. But, you know, as we play this game, we find out that he might know a little bit more than he's letting on. Hmm. I betcha he does. For other people, that might be okay, but for you, it isn't. Your memories haven't disappeared because of any mental or physical problems. It's because of you! <laughs> it's because they're being pushed out by Mike. Oh yes, he's the center of the universe. <laughs> so, staying at home or at the hospital wouldn't help. Yeah, without stimulation, you'd just get worse. Sitting around, spacing out in the hospital room without any memories, worse in your mind. You might forget how to drink water, or even how to breathe. Did you see what uh, I mean by the most negative thoughts? <laughs> I mean, he's only probably playing on those, you know, dumb blonde jokes, you know? Go to the hairdresser with your headphones on, she says, I can't take them off because they're very important. Pulls them off, blonde dyes, headphones say, breathing, stop then breathe out. Listen, I I don't see any relation. <laughs> to That's what he's thinking, is that you're just a dumb blonde. But you're not blonde in this game. Dun dun dun! Twist. Anyways, advice to avoid such a terrifying ending. Number one. Gather information. Try to actively meet people and investigate what kind of person you used to be. You're... You... <laughs> We're gonna turn into a very paranoid person very shortly. <laughs> yeah. Very quickly, we're gonna want to find out who all these people are, but we're not gonna want to talk to any of them. Exactly! Just need to know who they are. Okay. Who you, your family, and your relationship were, and what you were doing. Increase your knowledge and fill up that outer part of your memories. Once you do, I'm sure it'll trigger something and the rest of your memories should return. As that happens, I'll be pushed out and eventually be able to separate from you. As long as... Uh, <laughs> as, that's long as, what, as, as long as what, Kira? As long as... As long as your shot is given our situation. <laughs> yeah, no. Doesn't work that way. Uh, 
it's a long shot, but given our situation, but at the moment, it's the best plan we have. Sorry, I keep talking about nothing but negative things. Oh, he this finally, is correct. He finally acknowledges it. <laughs> yeah, gosh darn. But first, I think it would be good to confide in you. Yeah. You have none. They won't believe that a sphere got stuck in your head, but they'll at least provide some information. Unless, you know, they're backstabbing, conniving family. Oh, no, that, no more negativity. <laughs> Orion's rubbed off on us. It's too late. He's We're rubbed off on you. Now. He's rubbed off on you. I mean, I've been having to voice it for what? The last five minutes? He's got a lot of dialogue. I told you. Eddie. Did you want to be the one that talks the most? Because he's the one that talks the most. This is true. <laughs> we can think more about the plan after that. Now, let's go back to your world. Uh, which one was it again? The method is simple. Just close your eyes and think. With no memories to influence you, whatever world you can recall is the world that you desire. Only I think there are several worlds like that. Choose a world that you feel is right. I'm guessing heart. It actually doesn't show me what one. I s mm -hmm. Yes, World of Heart. 